Hello friends, this is Nisha. Today we will learn about the difference between response dot redirect and server dot transfer. In ASP.NET, we can transfer the current page request to the another page with the help of these two methods. So let's start with the first method that is your response dot redirect. Response dot redirect method is the simplest method for redirecting the processes from source page to different destination or target page in the same or even across different different application. So the main difference is that the posted previous values can't be accessible in response dot redirect. In this diagram, you can see if a client making a request for the page two, so browser is on page one. On which there is a request dot redirect command, which means that the server send response to a browser that browser should request some other page page two dot aspx, and in the next step, browser send request to server in order to get a page two dot aspx, and server send page page two dot aspx to a browser. In server dot transfer. Server dot transfer is more efficient as compared to response dot redirect when the target page reside on a same web server because it avoids the extra round trip and uses only server resources for the redirection. The round trip basically is a combination of request being sent to the server and response being sent back to the browser. The main advantage of this transfer the first page to the second page with better performance and the data can pass through variable query string. And also can retrieve from the previous page control value. So in this diagram, you can see with the server dot transfer, the round trip is not here. Additional round trip is not here. So these are the basic difference between response dot redirect and server dot transfer. The first difference is that response dot redirect basically helps you to navigate to some plain HTML page that can reside on a same server. Or can be on some external server, but in server dot transfer, you can navigate only to those pages which is on the same server, and it only allows you to navigate to only those pages which has an extension of dot aspx. The second difference is that in response dot redirect, there are additional round trips, but the same case is not here in server dot transfer. In server dot transfer, it avoids the unnecessary round trips. The next difference is that in response dot redirect, the value of query string is not preserved. It means when the client will make a request from page one to page two, the value of query string will be visible in URL. But in server dot transfer, the value of query string is preserved. The last difference is that the URL of new directed page is visible, but in server dot transfer, the URL of new directed page is not visible. So these are the basic difference between these two methods. Thanks for watching.